All right, guys, I am reading outside today. It is like 70 degrees out here. It's warm. All right, the book that we're gonna read today is Too Many Carrots. This weekend is Easter, so I thought that a book about carrots and rabbits would be a good one. It is by Katie Hudson. All right. So this is the, the pre-page. Looks like it's a bedroom. To do, eat carrots, plant carrots, collect carrots and eat carrots. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. Oh, it says no trespassing. Can't eat his carrots. Rabbit was so proud of his collection and he burrowed it away in his cozy hole. But Rabbit had a problem, a big problem. What do you think his problem could be? I feel like his problem is that he doesn't have enough room for all of his carrots. Cause look, he's trying to shove them in. Oh, he couldn't sleep. He can't sleep cause he's got a whole bunch of carrots around him. His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. Look at all those carrots. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cozy and snug, Rabbit said. Maybe it's a little too snug for two, suggested Turtle Tortoise. Not at all, said Rabbit. You think there's enough room inside the turtle shell for both of them? Mm -mm. And his carrots he brought with him? Mm -mm. Oh, oh, oh dear. Ouch! Ah! Crash. I don't think this is a big enough home for him. Oh dear. Well, perhaps we can stay in Bird's nest, said Rabbit. My nest is quite small, Rabbit, said Bird. I'm sure we will all fit, replied Rabbit. Rabbit hauled all of his carrots up the tree. Like he's carrying all of them up the tree. Whoa, groaned the tortoise and bird as the branch wobbled and swayed. And snap, they all fell. Crash, I'm so sorry, bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep, said rabbit. You can sleep in my house, offered the squirrel. Oh, thank you, squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. I don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit, said Squirrel. Just a few more, Rabbit replied. Uh-oh, whimpered the tortoise, bird, and the squirrel. What's gonna happen? Creak, creak, crash! Oh no, it broke the tree. Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep, grumbled the squirrel. You can sleep at my house, called the beaver. It has plenty of space. Great, I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. But with all of your carrots, we can't fit inside, said the beaver, a bit bewildered. Just then the rain started, tortoise shivered, bird whimpered and the squirrel squeaked. Uh oh. Oh no. It looks like it started to rain. And Beaver heard a terrible rumble as his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled Beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried the rabbit. Her rash. The friends groaned as they swept up into the river bank. Oh no. Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired, and homeless, and it was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all of his carrots and his house. 
And that's when he realized there was only one thing to do. What do you think he's gonna do? He has his friends that don't have a home and they're cold and they're tired. But he still has his house. What do you think he's gonna do? He is going to share everything with his friends. After all, carrots weren't for collecting. They were for sharing. He's having a carrot party. I didn't know that turtles liked carrots or birds. I didn't know that. And sharing made everything better. The end. Well, that was a cute book. I've never read that before. If you guys have a book that you would like me to read, I can see if I can get it. Miss Balkan probably has it at her house and I can read it or she can read it to you. All right, guys, have a great day.